Yes, we are live. It's 1.03 Eastern Time in Montreal here. Just gonna adjust my camera a bit and pull up the video on my computer so I can see what's going on. So if you're hopping on the live stream, say hello. It's uh, Wire Lady TV. My name's Heather Boyd. My hair is still wet. Sorry about that. I got up late this morning. Things are on a different schedule these days. And uh, yeah, uh, just say hello in the in the chat. Let me know where you're watching from. I'm gonna pull up the video and uh, we'll just see who's hopping on. So there's Wendy. Hey Wendy, first one on. Hey Clarice, nice to see you guys. How's life? How are things going? And Neil, wow, you guys are so keen. Awesome, thank you so much. And um, oh, here's the video, got it. Okay, I wanna keep track of comments. Paula and Amber from Seattle, awesome. That's so cool. And Neil from, yes, United uh, Arab Emirates, right? That's, I have to pronounce it. And Neil, I still have your little package ready to send to you, but unfortunately, uh, the post office is not shipping from Montreal uh, to overseas to many, many countries. And unfortunately, you're one of the ones on the list. So as soon as everything opens, it's going in the mail. And there's Debbie. Hey, Debbie, how are you? Amazing Emmy and Nina's here. Old hag, if you guys don't know, that's Nina. And uh, Peggy, yay. And Paula's from Sweden. Yes, fantastic. That's so cool. So guys, uh, I'm going to show you a few things I've been working on and then we'll flip the screen and we're going to work on some things in Sandy's, Sandy's in sunny Florida. Yes, it's pretty sunny in Montreal uh, today too and it's going to be nice all week so we're pretty excited about that. Nice, and Paula, so am I. Yes, and Victoria, hey, hi Heather, did you get your bigger bottles? Yes, I got my bigger bottles. So bigger bottles are here i got them in the mail so i'm going to be doing lenore's name in a bigger bottle because she requested it and i actually was able to find some small bottles at the dollar store but this would be way too weeny to put a name in so i have my small bottle larger bottles and i don't know if you guys have really good dollar stores around where you live but uh where we are in montreal there's the dollarama yay great bottles aha uh -huh. and paula says hi everybody uh, raining, oh, it's raining in Seattle. Though that's not surprising. It rains in, in Vancouver a lot too. And, and you have mediums bottles. So here's some little stubby ones. This one's about three quarters of an inch. Uh, this one, I, the larger one, I would say it's about an inch and a half. I ordered it, um, mine doesn't have bottles. Yeah, oh, you don't have bottles, eh? Well, I ended up ordering these on Etsy. Uh, the girl is in Canada and she says she has a few more packages left. So what I did was I bought she just shipped me this this package of bottles it's sort of a generic package and but there are other suppliers if ever guys you guys are looking for supplies there's a lot of smaller shops and large shops on etsy because they're allowed to be manufactured products if they're especially if they're supplies now etsy's really changed over the years but i buy a lot of my supplies on etsy and um, you can shop local so you can shop either in your city or in your country and uh, it's really great that way. So I was able to get these bottles at a decent price. And then some other things I'm working on, I'm working on some ideas for some hearts, like filling in hearts with, with um, wires. So, uh, you know, let me know what you guys think of this idea with the hearts. I have those and then these with the, with the beads. So these are kind of a spin off off the um, chaos beads. And so I'm working on that idea. And uh, I think I might do a tutorial for this one here. It's a little more unique. These two are, I've seen things like this with the chaos type wraps. So that's cool. So I'm gonna work on those. Ooh, lots of comments guys, thanks, you like those. And then I've been working on some little creepy things. Uh, Peggy knows because she follows me on Instagram and I was painting eyeballs one night. So here's an eyeball. You like the one with the beads, oh, that's cool. So I've been painting eyeballs on rocks. So these are really fun, these are super cool. And then I did one on um, sea glass, so that was cool too. A little eyeball on sea glass, right there. And then, I, this is my favorite one. I did this one like on a rock and I did like eyelashes. So that one turned out really well. So <laughs> amazing painter, thank you. Well, I love painting so much. I want to paint one on glass, on the glass, yes. Cause that was, my original idea was gonna try to do one on the back, like they do the dragon eye. Thanks guys. 
the eyelashes are cool. So this is one like the one they do on the the you know I think it's Yvonne Williams does the dragon uh, eyeball things, but I want to do a human eye. So this is that idea where I painted on the back of the cabochon. I covered it with blue, and then this is I need a a more transparent cabochon. This is clear, but it's got a bit of a weird glare on it, so it's really hard to tell. So I did one like that painted under the glass, and then this one I did like on top of the glass. So these are works in progress. Yes, Nina um, Nina says Yvonne does the dragon eye. And I know a lot of people in the Wire Art and Jewelry Makers Club do the dragon eyes and they're gorgeous. They're really beautiful. And I might try one of those uh, one day as well, but I want to try something a little different. And I used to have um, a, a ring with an actual old glass, antique glass eye on it. So my, my goal, I have to find the proper uh, cabochon, a small glass cabochon, but I'm going to remake that eye ring. I bought it in an antique shop and I'm going to make it with wire and I'm going to paint one. So that's a work in progress. You guys are sort of up on the, you have a little heads up of what I'm working on. And then of course this, there was a theme of the Cinderella story in the Facebook group. So that you guys saw that in the group. This is the glass slipper. A tutorial for the human eyes. I will definitely do a tutorial for the human eyes. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that sooner than later because I think it's really cool. And remember Mimi said she liked your eye ring. Yes, the eye ring is super fun. And then this was the magnifying glass inspired by Amber. And then I would show you the little doggy pendant that I made for Amber, but I'm already, I've, it's already in the mail, Amber. So you're going to be getting that really soon, the little, your little doggy pendant. But this is the, this is the magnifying glass. And I'll definitely do a tutorial for, for the magnifying glass as well. Debbie's gonna try the slipper. Awesome, cool. So let's get to this. <laughs> Amber squealing, yay! So I'm gonna flip the screen. We're gonna do this. This, push, flip. Uh, yep, there we go, so there's my table. I love that one with the dog, it's cute, eh? Love the shoe, thank you, Sandy. So let's get this around. And I'm gonna get, here's the bottle. So we've got the bottle here. And I just want to center you guys on my table so we have a nice, like, gray background here. Yep, there we go. So this is good. I usually use white, but I thought I'll try gray today. We'll see how it goes. Just let me move this over a little bit more. Perfect. I think that's that's well centered. Eh? So there's our bottle. So I think it's about an inch and a half, and uh, we're going to go with that. I have my tools. I have my round pliers. These were, Everybody asked me where I... I uh, I uh, buy my tools. You can't wait to see if I'm going to pull it off. Well, it might or might not work, but I have a few ideas that I'm going to work with, and you guys are going to see. They're going to be fun. So these are round pliers. I actually bought these at a hardware store many years ago, and these are my flat pliers. These are from a bead wholesaler in Toronto. 30-year-old tools, exactly. So this is from a company called John Bead, and they still exist, but you have to purchase for a minimum of $300 from this wholesaler in Toronto, so I don't shop there anymore. These old cutters, I have no idea where I got them, maybe also at John Bead. And then these ones I got at some surplus store in Toronto about 25, 30 years ago. So these are my tools, and then, of course, Sharpies. You can get those anywhere. But uh, base, those are my basic tools, nothing, nothing fancy. And uh, that's an inside joke with my daughter. We, <laughs> the, reason, the reason I'm joking about that and she's laughing in the, in the kitchen is because um, we brought our car in to get fixed at the, at the car shop. And the lady gave us a loaner car at the shop, but it was this old rust bucket. And she said to us when we borrowed the car, she said, it's nothing fancy. <laughs> and so we've been laughing about that ever since because it definitely was nothing fancy. So these guys, if you're wondering, these are from Michaels. This is a value pack wire. This is also something, yeah, it's good. I, I just, you got to love people eh? and, and how they express themselves. I just love it. Uh, Debbie says, I thought I was queen of the castle when I bought my first tools. Yes, yeah, for sure. Um, I still need to get really professional tools, but I'm I'm really like to be scrappy and make do with what I have. So this is a three-pack value pack from um, Michaels. Uh, if you guys have a Michaels in your city, or Michaels also does shipping, so that's cool. But this comes, it's $12 Canadian. No, 12, I think it's 12 Canadian. 12 or more, no, $10 Canadian or something, I forget. Anyways, so they have 18 gauge, 20 gauge, and 24 gauge. So those are really three good standard sizes to, to use for jewelry making. 
So I'm going to start with 20 and see if we could do Lenore's name. And if it's not good, I'll make it uh, smaller. So it might, might actually be a little bit big. Uh, but if it's too big, I'll try to make it smaller. So we'll see if that'll go that'll go in. I, Neil says, I have tools given to my friend. Inspire me to start making jewelry. How cool is that? Oh, broke your cutters on memory wire. That, yeah, that can definitely happen. And they do sell cutters specifically for memory wire. And actually, I just bought some memory wire yesterday from Michaels to try it because I haven't made memory wire bracelets in years. I have a friend, my friend Allison used to make them and she used to put just just um, stones, you know, those stone chips on them. She'd make, make tons of them, like the, the little healing stones and they were beautiful. So one day, one day I'll definitely... Uh, try something with the memory wire. I have too many projects that I have on my list to do, and now I have to do a tutorial for painted eyeballs, which will be super fun. What I did was the other night, I did a live stream on Instagram, painting the eyeballs, and uh, that was super fun. And I was hoping Peggy would hop on because she usually hops on my lives, but I guess you were busy, you were with friends that night, Peggy, so it's all good, it's all good. So bucket list, yes, definitely bucket list for the cutters. Yeah, you don't wanna ruin your, you don't wanna ruin your cutters. So I'm going to do Lenore's name. So we'll start with a piece of wire that's probably about maybe a foot long max. It shouldn't be too much longer than that. And I have to keep in mind like the height of the bottle. Actually, I have to keep in mind how we're going to, like it can't be any wider than that, right? Unless we can kind of distort it to put it in. So maybe I'll just... I'll see what I can do. This might be like putting a ship in a bottle. We're, we're going to see if it's actually going to work. So we'll see. Uh, yeah, we're video chatting and the babies took over with the cuteness. Hmm. Oh, yes, yes. That's what you told me. That's right. Okay. Sorry. Mind fart there. I forgot what we were talking about. So let's go ahead and try Lenore. And maybe what I'll do is I'll try the first letter first to see if it's going to fit in there. Yeah, fingers crossed. Thank you. I need all the luck that I could get here. So if we just start here and might or might not work. I'm going to I'm going to see what I can do here. So I don't know if this is an idea that Lenore saw somewhere or if this is an idea that Lenore um had thought that I could do but we'll we'll see we'll see how it works I'll just try not to make the letters too tall and not too big either but I think 20 gauge is good because if the wire's too thin it's not going to show up very well so you want a decent thickness of wire as well so let's I can send you a screenshot later awesome cool so let's do this and Peggy did you get my last message about your daughter's name because I haven't checked my I didn't check messenger yet but uh you we were gonna do I was gonna do your daughter's name it's on my list I have a list of about 20 names I still have to do so Lillianne we were gonna put um maybe a little icon at the end of her name but I didn't know which one uh check the height oh low battery hang on so what's wrong with my I have to see what's wrong with my thing Wait, okay, hopefully this is, wait, let me just check. I had just to check my iPod because for some reason it said low battery, but it should be okay. I'll just plug it in a little better. And hopefully if this dies, I'll have to like hop on again, but I'm really hoping it's gonna be okay. A flower, okay. I did do some flowers before, but I could, maybe I'll try to do a different flower just to give it some variety, but I'll definitely have a look at that and see. So here we L-E. I did that last week. Hi, Amber. Okay, so check the height before I proceed further. Yeah, I think like these should be fine. The little ones, it's the big one that I might have to, you know, finagle a little bit, but I, th I think I can get away with it. I'm going to try. And um, as long as the little ones are good, I could probably still adjust the big one, but that's definitely a good suggestion. Uh, check it as you go. So here we go with Lenore. We're just going to keep going with it and then do my little hack with that little, the little loop for the N. So we start it, just start the loop like that. And then I'm thinking of a donut. Ooh, donut would be cute. Does she like donuts? That's a cute idea. I like that idea. You could almost even do like a little Fimo donut and put it at the end of her name. Do you think she'd like that? That'd be cute because I don't mind working with Fimo too. It doesn't have to be all wire all the time. So so here's the N. Okay, we're going to get the N going here. And then we're going to go across and do the O. 
There we go. Perfect. Yes, Fimo? Cool. We could do that. That'd be fun. Okay, so let's go around here. Oh, and let's not forget a letter because I've definitely done that before. I do, when I do my wedding cake toppers, I, I customize those, them with the bride and the groom's name. And the other day I did uh, quite an elaborate one and then I did their name. I do it all in one shot, the, the bride's name, a heart and the groom's name. And um, I forgot one of the letters in the bride's name. It's just, I can't multitask when I do these things because otherwise it's very easy to, to forget some things. So it's just, uh, yeah, it, it happens. And then you have to pretty well scrap the whole thing because there's not really a good way to recuperate it because you have to do it in one shot. So there's Lenore. So let's do the R. So the R is like a cursive R. So you bend that back and up and down. I'm going to check the comments after because I do not want to get distracted. So we're going to go like this and then we're going to do the E. So there's the R. Looking good so far. Hope I haven't spelled her name wrong. And then the E. So the E, basically I just push it out a bit. You could just do like a little, a little loop that look, just looks like a little mini uh, L, but I like to do that little bend there to make it look a little bit more like a like an E. So, and then try to get it the same size as the other one. There we go. And then we're gonna go here. No horses allowed in the shop. <laughs> I think I'm missing a whole bunch of stuff. It's all good. I love it when you guys chat. So there we go. So we've got the E, perfect. And then I'm just gonna bring this down a bit and then we're gonna just go here. So let's see what we've got so far. The name looks good, but I think the, the thing was I wanted to figure out how, woo, it's, I think it might fit as long as we can menangle that, that uh, L. But what I was thinking, it might be nice to do like a little twirly whirly thing so this would actually sit properly. So if that's, we wanna put that here, I'm gonna, make a kind of a loop, like a circle thing, so that'll sit at the bottom of the bottle. But what we need to do is make sure it's not gonna be wider than that. So what I'll do is get these. Putting the L in last is definitely the way I'd go. Yeah, exactly. So that way we can still bend the L a little bit if we have to. So, oh, I had an idea. Why don't we just do like a little, if I do like a little spiral thing, let's try it that way. Okay, if I do this, okay, try to keep my hands centered. And then I'm just gonna spiral it around. Okay, so we started a spiral. And then we're going to, here, just make sure that it's flat-ish. Uh, it's tricky to hold, okay. Let me just pull that out a little bit. Okay, down. Okay, so I'm gonna pull that around and just try to wind that around. Because the idea is you want like something like kind of flat-ish for to stick at the bottom of the bottle to keep it somewhat centered. So I'm gonna just try this like to do this spiral. And then what I could do is I could cut it to fit through the hole. So here's the, let's make sure it's gonna fit yet. Yeah, so that'll fit, that'll fit. So we're just going to, I'll bring it around a little bit more and then I'm gonna cut it. So we'll just cut that end, perfect. And then we wanna make sure that it's centered. So it got a little bit distorted. So what we wanna do is just make sure that it's centered and it's at um, like a right angle to the name. So we're just gonna hold it this way and we're gonna, see if it's like at a kind of a right angle there. That looks good. And then this one, we wanna just fix this up a little bit. Okay, and I haven't quite decided what I wanna do. If I wanna keep this wire, I might keep the wire to put a cap on the end of the bottle, or I might not, because I had a few ideas for the cap for the bottle, so we're gonna see how that works. So let's see if it actually's gonna go in. Okay, so curve wire over the pen and then once it's in the bottle make it straight 
Hmm. Yeah, I'm not quite sure, but let's just see. So far, let's see if it's going to go in. Like, so far the name goes in, all right? So, yeah, it's just the L, so we can definitely, like, maybe see if we could do it. We'll push it. Oh, I have to push it that way to get the L in. Yeah. Oh, it's making a squeaky sound. So that's cool. It kind of like, you can see it in there. You could definitely see it in there. And like I said, I'm not quite sure Lenore's idea with this, but we're going to see what we can do. So if we have that there and then we just kind of bend that on an angle, maybe a little bit like that. Um, what I want to do is kind of, yeah, it's hard to, it's hard to manangle it too well in there. But I think that should be okay. And, oh, that sounds really bad. I don't know if you guys can hear that sound. But the other thing I thought about was, because I was originally going to put a bead on for the cap. I don't want to put the cork. I don't really like the way the cork looks. But I thought I'd put a bead on the top. So let's see what we can do. I got it. Yes, exactly. Well, I thought about the cork. See, I thought, I thought about the cork. But what I prefer to do is I'm going to try to put a bead on the top. I just don't know what color. So I have to decide what color I want to do. And then what I want to do, I just have to, um, originally I was going to put a head pin into the, uh, into the bead, but now I'm not quite sure. And I have to decide what beads that I'm going to do. Blue, do you think I should do a blue bead? I could try a blue bead. Blue, blue would be nice too. I have this beautiful turquoise blue, which is nice. So I have that. Actually, that looks really nice, the blue. And then let me see if I have some gold uh, beads because I like mixing a little bit of the gold with it as well. But I don't know if I have one that's going to work. I'm just looking through my beads. So if I put like a gold bead, that's not too bad. And then um, I'm going to try some other ideas with the bottles too. So, and the cat bead, actually, actually, it's funny you should say that, uh, Clarice, because I actually pulled out these cat beads with the intention of trying it, but they're silver and they're bigger. So I think we'll I'll do that for another one. Let me just see, because I like that. I like that idea of that. And, but I'm just not sure if I have the right size. Like I might want a bigger, bigger bead to go on that. So I'm going to see if I have a larger bead. I'm a little restricted with the size of my beads, and that's like too big. So let's see this one. Yeah, I have like 10, and I have maybe 15, but I don't know if I have a 12 millimeter bead. I'm just gonna look, sorry, I'm just looking through my beads to see what I have. I might have to dig in some of my other beads, yeah, because that one's a little big, but I like that idea of doing a bead cap for sure. Yep. Hey, Lenore, there you go. Okay, awesome. There's Lenore, the star of the show. So, Lenore, this is what we've got so far. Uh, that looks great. Um, so beautiful. Cool. Lenore, what color bead would you like on the top? Because I have so many beads. I, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you what I have. Let's see what we got. And then I'm going to make it a little more fancy after. So, here's my beads. I have black, red, green. Uh, these are all my miracle beads. So let me know in the comments which bead you want as the main bead at the top, and then we'll go from there and we'll figure out how we're going to attach it together. So whatever bead you like. Oh my gosh, I, I hope I can make one of these. Yeah, I'm sure you'll be able to. Yeah, so what, what color do you think? Do, should we stick with the blue or do you want something else? Because I'm totally cool with the uh, with whatever that you want. Yeah, these are really, this is my, these are all my regular beads that I use. I have all these little four millimeter miracle beads. I have all these beautiful eight millimeter beads and um, I have cat's eye beads. These are the, all the ones I use like the most with my, with my, uh, uh, my jewelry and stuff. So that's cool. Birthday in May, green. Okay, cool. So I have the green, let me show you. I have a green miracle bead. I have a green, cat's eye bead and I also have the like an emerald green I have an emerald green bead the green miracle bead or the green cat's eye bead so choose which one you like of those and I'll I'll use one of those for the bead I'm so happy you hopped on that's great so yeah these are all beautiful the the miracle bead 
the olive green cat's eye bead and the uh, miracle bead cat's eye, uh, I mean the um, emerald cat's eye bead. So whichever one you like of those three, I'll do it. And then in the meantime, I'm going to just look at this and figure out how I'm going to do this. So we're going to put these here. There we go. And I just want to see, because this has to be at a certain height. I think I know what I'm going to do. Emerald green. Awesome. There we go. So that's probably more like the uh, birthstone anyways. So, so there we go. Let's pull that one back. And we're going to put this one on. So we're going to put this one on here. And what we want to do now is, where'd that little bead go? Yeah. Oh, I found a nicer gold bead. Let me just see. See if it's going to work. Yeah, I have a few random beads in here. This one's a little shinier. Let's try that. That's like a spacer bead. That's kind of cool. And then let's put maybe one more bead at to at the top. I'll see what else I have. I have also a little a little miracle bead too. Or if you have another color, like I could put maybe put black or something. Just something classic or or a hematite at the top. Let me see what I have. Yeah. I have these, these are all stuck together because they're magnetic hematites. So let me just see what that looks like. So I have, I think it would be nice to do something different. Or I also have, like I have an amber, I have black, or I have like a, limp, a little hematite bead. So I could do any of those if you, uh, which one that I should put on top. I'm sitting here trying to do Wilda, but I don't like the transition between, okay, for the the W and the I. Okay, right. Well, maybe you could send me a pic after this, and um, I just want to focus on this for now, but we're going to see. So let's just see how these look. So we're going to put, this is always the hard part, is deciding on the beads. That's kind of cool with the, with the uh, amber one. Maybe we'll just do that. I'll just check the black, but I think I like the amber one. We're going to see. We're going to go on here. Oh, thank you. Yeah. My daughter just gave me something and she's heading out. So there we go. Oh, I think I like the amber one. Let's just do it. Okay, so let me move these and we're going to put this on here. So now the moment we all be waiting for to figure out how we're going to put all this together, right? So what we're going to do is we want to make sure this is at a height where the bottom of the name is going to be down there. And amber looks great, yeah, yeah. And then what we wanna do is make sure, this is the tricky part, because you wanna make sure it all holds at the right level. So that's down at the bottom, this is here. Okay, and then now we wanna cut this to a length that you could twist a little uh, circle. So let's cut it to, I usually do like 3 eighths to a quarter inch, maybe half an inch if you want a bigger loop. Okay, and... This is gonna be a real experiment, and I don't wanna I don't wanna scrap your name, but I think it's gonna be fine, so we're good. Okay, so now we wanna hold it all in place and take this and hold make sure you're holding it in a way that the, the bottom of the name is touching the bottom of the glass. Uh, how does the name stay inside the bottle? This is gonna be the mystery, and that's I've already kind of pre-decided how I wanted to do it, but the question is, will it work, right? So we've got the loop, okay, so the loop is good. I actually, what I could have done is I probably could have continued the wire down, but my idea was I'm gonna put a separate wire here and wrap it up. So that's gonna be the next step. So we'll get more of the 20 gauge wire. You could do a contrasting wire too if you like, but let's just go ahead and get a piece of the 20 gauge and see what we're going to do. So in my head, this worked. So let's see if it actually works in reality. You'll be fine, my friend, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you for your confidence, awesome. So because I'm not quite sure exactly how much I'm going to need, I'm gonna bend it in at the halfway point just to see. And I'm going to take a round form. Oh, I thought I had two different Sharpies, but they're both the thick Sharpies, so I want to get, I'll get a pen. Okay, so we'll get the pen and we're just going to, it's always easier to start your circle first rather than try to wrap it around the bottle. I'm just gonna start it first like that and then we're gonna kind of open it up a bit and take the bottle and bring it on here 
and push it over there. Okay, so that's the idea I was thinking is if you secure it in the sort of the lip of the bottle, that could be cool. And even to make it a little more fancy, I'm going to bring it around this way. So to make it a little more fancy, I actually might wrap it around twice just to make it look nice. Or you could even wrap it around twice or three times there. Let's see. I don't want to do it too much times because I need... I need the end. Actually, I'm going to, sorry, I'm going to bring it down the other way. I have a, I'm going to pull it back a bit and do it underneath because I want to wrap the other wire up. So I'm going to bring that down here and wrap it around a couple of times. Okay, here. And then I'm just going to give it a little twist. So we're going to make sure it's snug. It wants you want it to be really snug so it'll hold in place. We're just going to do it a, a nice little loop around. So I want to make a spiral or something with that, that after. So I'm going to keep that like that for now. And then what we want to do is bring this one up. Okay, so if we keep that one probably to the back-ish. And this you'll be able to adjust to your taste for sure. And then the idea was to take this and then bring it maybe around here, I think I had thought, around here, and then around here, and then around the top. Yeah, I think it's gonna hold. So we're gonna bring this around the top here. I could have probably made this loop a little bit bigger, but it should be fine. I just wanna make sure that it's in the position that we can see the, the Lenore. So I probably, Maybe should have twisted this. I could, actually, I could twist this loop. So it's, mm, yeah, how are we going to do this? This maybe should have been more to the back, but I might be able to adjust that. So just let me just check. Yeah, I think that should be fine. And, yeah, so now what you could do with this, if you did want to do like a little loop or, on, or something on that, you can. And, or you could just keep it simple. So if you did want to like kind of go back and wind it around the beads again, you could. Okay. So there we go. I found some empty bottles that made charms. Okay, cool. Cool. That's great. So yeah, so if you do want to go back and do something with this, you can, or maybe you can make a spiral. So we're going to go see. Okay. And Wendy's got to go. Okay. Thanks for popping by, Wendy. Awesome. So we're going to just try to do a little spiral. And then if the spiral doesn't work as planned, I can always cut it off. But we're just going to go like this for now. Like this, this is the part where you can get very, very creative and just, you know, do anything you want to make it more decorative. So if you do want to do a spiral, it's great. And um, if you want to just like make it pretty plain, you can do that too. So yeah, this is definitely the part where you, you get very creative and we're just going to pull that around and do like a little spiral and being careful not to, you know, scratch it up too much. So it's always really, it's always fun to do like a little spiral. So there we go. So we've got that one, although it kind of covers the bead. So I don't know if you want it like that or not. And then I thought maybe to do another spiral here, but I don't really want to cover the name. So maybe we can do it up the other way. I'm just going to see how that looks. So if we take this one and bring that around. Okay. I like to start the spiral like that. Sometimes I do it on a cone and then it's kind of like easier to form. So if we bring this, I think the idea is because the bottle's very plain. You want to make it a little more um, decorative. So this is an idea. You can do it like that. I think the only thing I would change is the angle of this loop because you want it to be uh, parallel to the to Lenore, right? So this I might be able to change. I just want it to be like to sit nicely. And then you can put a jump ring. Like if you have it this way and then you could put a jump ring. So, oh, and then look, I have a problem here. It pulled up from the bottom. So I guess what happened was I pulled it too tight. So that's definitely something to keep in mind. That's that's the problem I had here. I, I must have pulled the wire up too tight. So this is a pro this is something you can think about when you make it yourself, is that you might want to um I think it's this part that I pulled too tight, probably. Let me just double check if we push that back down. Uh 
Uh, let's just see. Yeah, that's probably the part that I pulled. Yeah, that's the part I pulled too tightly. So what I can do just to adjust that, I could push it back down. If, if I want it to sit right on the bottom, I can definitely... Yeah, so that's just something you should keep in mind if you make this, is don't pull this wire up too tight because then it's not gonna sit on the bottom anymore. So let's just push it back down. Yeah, I pushed it right back down, so that's better. And so it's kind of at the back of the bottle there. So what I'm gonna do now is just bend it again, but just be careful not to pull it so much. So, and make sure it's uh, perpendicular, uh, parallel to that one. So now I'm going to bend it again, but very, very little bit. I should have cut this end maybe a little longer. So just for now, like I can add a jump ring so it's not a big deal, but this way you'll see it'll sit now it sits right on the bottom and we've got the bead. And this probably what I would do is I would have brought this more to the back. Like I can see the problems now with this, but that's like totally something doable that you guys can fix. You could you know, make sure this gets twisted at, at the back if you want, or to, to cover that air, I can just like twist the spiral over to cover that. So that's fine too. So there's, there's all kinds of ways you can, you know, play around with it and deal with it. And, but that's the general idea. I actually got Lenore's name in the bottle. It got a little bit crooked. So that, I'm not sure if you can fix that, but I think that's, oh, maybe if I lifted it up a little bit, I might be able to fix it. It's, it, I mean, it's, that's the nature of the project. It might be a little bit crooked, but it's not too bad. So, okay, I'm missing all kinds of comments here. So I'll just, I'm, I can't scroll back right now, but I'm just gonna say Tiona's here. Great idea for people of odd names like me. Yes, definitely. And uh, yeah, so there's, let me just go, back a little bit to see. Jennifer, thank you. Very nice. It, Asha's here and yep, you'll be fine. But there, so there we go. So there's, there's Lenore's name in a bottle. So that worked out pretty well. But so the basic idea, the basic concept is you do the name, you put the extension wire of the name through the beads and do a little loop at the top. And then you fix another wire at the lip of the bottle and you can go up like that. So let me try another one with the bead cap and I'll do it in, in silver. So yeah, it's a learning project, did good, thank you. So let's get the silver cap and I'm going to get some silver wire and we'll try another one. We'll try another one and we'll try it with silver and I'm gonna try to find a slightly larger bead to go with this silver. So we've got that. We've got that, and I mean, in theory, you can do other ones with the with the um, with the littler bottles, but I'm gonna stick with the big bottle for now. Love it! Oh my gosh, it's really cool! Yay! Awesome! So let me just find my beads to see if I have a larger one that we can use with the bead cap, because that was a really good idea that Clarice had to use the bead cap. So let's see. I'm going to just find, this is my other, I'll show you, these are my other beads. This is sort of a random, a random bucket of beads that I have. So I'm going to just see if I have one that fits. Actually, this one's not too bad with the, with the hematite. Okay, so I've got the hematite one. Let's see if there are any other ones that fit. I have an amber one. That's cool. And is there any one? Oh, I have also a purple one. Whoops. I have purple. So you guys choose which one I should do. I'm just gonna move these to the floor. I have amber, purple, and hematite that I can do. You're so amazing. Aw, thank you so much, Lenore. I appreciate it. That was a great idea you had. That's so cool. Oh no, we have two ambers and one purple. Uh -oh. That's going to be tricky. So how am I gonna decide about that? I guess I guess amber wins if we have two ambers. So we have that one here and, oh no, now we have purple. Ah, we have purple. So I'm just trying to see, okay, so actually, let me just check here. I'm gonna just check my list. So yeah, how am I gonna do? Two against two. I might have to flip a coin. I'm not really decided, decided today. Let me just see. Okay, so we can put the whole, 
word time and put a tiny clock. Oh boy, wow, that'd be cool. So I'm just gonna see, I might actually do the amber because I think it shows up better. It's a little, a little brighter. So I'm gonna do the amber and there we go like that. And then I'm gonna take the wire and I have to do another name, but I have to, my vote is always amber, yes, true. So I'm gonna look at my list of names and see if I have one that I think it might work well with all the um, with all the letters on one level, but I'm not quite sure. I have Cecilia that asks for her name, so I don't know if she's here on the on the chat. There were three amber, two purple. Well, thank you for keeping track. That's awesome. So let me just get cut some wire. Yeah, I have so many names of people that wanted names, and I haven't had a chance to do them all, so. I'll just, I think it's going to be easier to do one that's, then the letters are all one, on one level. It might be tricky when there's some up, some down. So let me try Cecilia. It's going to be maybe a little bit tricky, but I'm going to try it. So we're going to see. So let's get uh, the pliers. And same thing, you can't do it too big, right? Especially the L is going to be tricky. So I might have to make it like extra small. I know three Cecilia. Okay, cool. <laughs> nice. So let's do Cecilia and we might have to do it quite small, but we're going to see. So we'll start with the C. I can always adjust this after. And yeah, so this we can either do like do a loop to the back or we can go straight back. I think I'm going to go straight back here. Okay. And this one back here and try to center it somewhat so it might be easier to fit in the bottle. So if we put the, the little extension wire centered up and then this, yeah, we're gonna have to be very, very careful that it's gonna be the right size. I mean, some of the uppercase letters, you're just gonna have to make them shorter than usual, I think. Teensy weensy round nose, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, they're definitely teensy weensy. So. Let's just try to do it very simply and hope it's going to work out. I could have probably used a thinner wire, like 22 gauge wire, I might recommend for this because the 20 is a little thick. So it just, I guess it depends on how long your name is and how, um, uh, how big your bottle is too. So let's just try this Cecilia. Let's not spell it wrong. And... I'm gonna go around here. The C's are very, very tricky. Like sometimes I do like the, the bottom of the C and bend it back, but I'm gonna to try to do these as simple as possible. And I did do a video on Saturday of all the letters. So you can get a good idea of how to do all the cursive letters from that video. And then other than that, I will do another one for the uppercase level letters because the uppercase letters are tricky as well. You know, it's really hard to get them to look like what they're actually supposed to look like. So, okay, so there's C, I, C, okay. Now this is the tricky part. I almost wanna, I don't know if it's gonna look very good, but just because to separate the letters a little bit, I'm just going to do like a little jog down and up just because otherwise the eye is going to be like really too close to that one. I could have done the same with the with that one too, but I'm going to just try it like this. And then we need the eye. So we're going to do the eye here around. Do the eye. I like to do like a little dot on the eye. I just find it looks really cute. Like it looks more like an eye. Some people don't dot their eyes, but I like the way it looks when it's dotted. And then we're gonna bring this up and we're gonna do the L. Now the L can't be very high, that's the problem. So we're gonna have to be, Heather, I have to go, oh, no worries, yeah, I have to go pick up my daughter. Awesome, well, thanks so much, Lenore, and you can always pop by and watch the replay later, but at least you got to see your name. I'm really happy that you caught it, and thanks so much for the great idea. That's awesome. I bought a pair of expensive Tronix round note pliers, and you're not thrilled. Oh, that sucks, oh, no. So here, we're gonna try it like that. We might have to wiggle that around to get in there, but I don't think I wanna do it any higher than, than that. Otherwise, it's good, we're gonna have 
you know, trouble getting it in. So there we go. There's L and then another I and another uh, and the A. I mean, not another A. There's only there's only one. So there we go. So there's that. And then we're going to do the I. And we'll just go with that. And back. And I, like I said, I have a big list of names, so I'm still working on the names. I'm going to try one uh, uh, for Peggy's daughter with the little donut. I'll definitely try that at some point. And I always like, love to pull out my Fimo too, so I can try that. Or maybe I'll try a wire donut. Maybe there's something I, that'll inspire a new idea for a wire donut. You never know. I think I've made donuts with um, maybe some plastic too before, but I'm not sure. I know I definitely made one out of Fimo before. Okay, and then the A, so we'll get larger pliers here, round, okay, and make sure that's about the same size. This one's going to be quite a short name, actually. So the other thing we might be able to do is maybe put some little beads in the, in the bottle as well, which could be really cute. So maybe we'll try that, especially since this is a, a short name. I think I just, I think I actually made it smaller than Lenore. That's probably why it's become so short. But uh, I think there's something we can do with that. So let's just see. We're going to bring this down here. So there's Cecilia. And then we would want it to go like in the bottle. But I'm just trying to see if I put a bead in the, bo in the bottom. It might be interesting. So let me just see what I have in my beads. I do have an amber bead. We can see how that's going to look. And I mean, maybe you could even put glitter or something in the bottle. It might be interesting. Actually, these I had, I bought, and they had glitter in them already. But you could maybe put some in the bottom of the bottle. I don't know if how that would look. I mean, I could try. I don't think I like the bead on there. I don't think I like the way it looks. So let me just try something. I'm going to open these up. I'm not sure why, you know, these have these things in them. Maybe it's for a specific craft or something, but you could put some of the little glitters in there. It might be fun. It's like a snow globe. Wow, that's kind of cool, like a snow globe with your name. I could always pull them out after, but what I want to do is figure out, like, where this is going to be centered in the bottle. So we're going to put it around here and... Or maybe it doesn't even have to be. Why don't we just finish it off and then it doesn't have to like be sitting on the bottom. Maybe it could just be hanging down. We can try that. And uh, maybe I'll just leave it, like just leave the end like that. So I'm just going to try something different just because I can. I mean, you could do like a regular spiral. You could do a little something on the end. There's almost enough room to do like a little icon or a little note. I could probably do a little heart. Let's try the little heart because it doesn't take a lot of room. So let's try a little heart on the end, not too big. And I'm going to bring it to the front. So we'll bring this one to the front. I'm going to move those. And you want to make sure it's going to fit in the bottle. So don't do it any higher than the L. So we've got that. And we'll do a little heart just because hearts are are universal and uh, everybody loves hearts. So we're gonna bring this around here, bring this down, down here, perfect. And then you want to just, there's the little heart and then we'll just end it. It makes it look nice with the little heart. Okay, so in a nail art kit, you can also get many little bits. Yes, that's true, that's a good idea. Like little bits of glitter and sequins and stuff like that. I actually never do my nails because they would chip. And when I was younger, my friends always used to do their nails. And I was always so jealous because my nails are really soft. And uh, I could never get them to look as nice as my friend's nails. So I, at one point, I just gave up. It's just, uh, I gave up on it. So here's Cecilia. So now you want to make sure the name is relatively straight. You can play around with it. And, or a star, yes. So let's see how it looks if we put it in whoops, with the, with these. Hopefully this is going to fit with the heart. You kind of have to kind of push it in a little bit. Let me just see. The reason, oh, you, you know what? The reason it didn't work was because there's that little extra bit there. I can fix that. I can just take this. I'm going to pull it back, actually, because we didn't really need to twist it there. Let me pull it back a little bit. It's a little tricky to, to 
get it to pull up. Sometimes I, instead of using pliers to pull back the wire, I actually use the cutters because it grips better. That's another little hack. And then if you want to just cut this so it's flush there, okay, pull it out a little bit, cut it so it's flush, then you don't need that twist at the bottom. All you're going to have to do is just push it right in so it's flat. And then that way that finishes it off and you don't have to... Um, you don't have to twist it, so you don't have that extra chunk of wire at the bottom, so that's good. So let's try again. Try to get it back in the bottle, and I'll either remove the the um, sequins or I'll keep them on in depending on how it looks. So we've got that. This wire is really not the best wire. This is sort of like practice wire. It's from Michaels, so I'm not even sure it's non-tarnish. The gold seemed a little nicer than the silver. The silver looks almost like an antique silver. So let's just get that in here and yeah, the see the L is maybe even a little high for that. So if the L is too high, yeah, this is where we learn, you know, how high we can actually make these these letters. So if we just make the round part at the top a little fatter, that'll make it a little shorter. So it looks a little more like an E now, but you know, it's very stylized. Like, I don't think anyone's going to be too picky. They're just going to be surprised you even got to put it in a bottle. So I have flaky nails too. Yes. Yeah, it's hard. Eh? So now it should fit in there better. Yeah, if I give it a little push, barely fits, right? So there we go. And now the C too. So we're going to see if the C actually fits. And we might have to wiggle that around too. So that's pretty good. Yep. See, but it got bent a little bit. So, but you know what? I don't mind it bent like that. Honestly, I think it actually makes it look interesting. So that's cool. But I don't know about the sequins. I find them a little much and it actually covers the heart. So let's just take them out. I don't think, I'm not sure if I like that or not. I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I put some sequins or no, no sequins? Hey, Mustafa, how are you? Better late than never. Yeah, we're just having fun here. I'm going to put a few more. I'm going to put a few in the bottom. I'm going to have sequins all over my table. There we go. So, yeah, I'm not convinced about the sequins. Yeah, no, I think I'm going to just scrap them all together. And if anything, maybe the other alternative you could do is you could even paint little things on the bottle. Maybe even wind some wire down there a little bit. So what I want to do now is I'm going to bend this wire a little bit so it does, like, sit up a little bit. I want I want this not to go right to the bottom. So what I'm going to do here is just bend, give this a little bend and that a little bend up just so it stays a little bit somewhat centered. I don't know if that's the perfect angle, but we can try it. And then now let's put our bead on there. Okay, like we did before. And maybe rather than make the loop right away, I might try the twisty thing first. We're going to see. And then we'll do the bead cap because I like that idea. That's kind of cute. So we're going to do the the bead cap and this might have to get bent a little more. Oh gosh, I hate that sound. It's like scratching on the glass. So if we put this here and this one here, this is going to have to pull up a little bit. So it still kind of sits hanging down there. And then we could even put another bead at the top. Let me see what I have. I have a nice little miracle bead that might be cute, like the little the little purple one, we'll see how that looks. It's not too bad. That's always the hardest part is just choosing choosing the beads. So I'm gonna leave that there for now. I'm gonna remove these. Perfect. I would put sequin hearts. Yeah, if I had some little sequin hearts or something. The, the, heart, the difficult part is you don't wanna cover the names. So that's really tricky. Maybe if I had smaller like glitter or something, it might look a little better, better, but because the pieces are quite big, I just find them a little bit distracting. So we're just going to, but I mean, it's, it's, it's really good. You guys can try, you know, any combinations of these that you want and uh, sorry, I just need some water. And so what I'm going to do now is let's do the same thing we did before where we just wrap this part of the bottle here. And so what I want to do is I'll try it without uh, making the circle first. So if we're going to bend that, or we can just start the circle, bend that like that. Yeah, I think it's easier to start the circle first because that way it's just easier to wrap. So we'll just start that circle here. And 
Oh my gosh, Debbie, my familiar found liver. Oh wow, amazing Debbie. Oh wow, good luck, good luck, good luck. Wow, that's amazing. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll message you, I'll message you for sure. So there we go. So around here, we're gonna go around and around and around. Okay, so we've got like three rounds this time or maybe even four rounds. Let's just, it's, it's nice to make it look really decorative. So we're gonna go around here. So that makes it looks really good. And we're gonna have to pull the wire up a little bit more. But what we wanna do first is just bring this around Okay, and I'm going to bend this at a right angle here and bring this down and this one here and around and around. Perfect. There we go. So that's around like that. And then what we're going to do now is let's pull this, let's bring this one up. Okay, we're going to, we'll leave this one at the bottom here. And actually, I'm going to bring this, I'll bring it all the way up. So if we bring this up and wind it around a little bit, we're just going to play around with it. Uh, actually, we might have to make that. Uh, how are we going to do this? I think I better go ahead and do the loop first. I'm going to do the loop first. I think it's going to be easier. So we'll go ahead. I'm going to cut this a little bit longer this time and bring this here and around here okay there we go perfect and then now because the other thing I had thought about doing was bringing the wire from the bottom like bringing it starting there and bringing it down but let's just bring this up okay if this is at the let's make sure this is at the back so there's the front this is the back and yeah this is definitely a work in progress you guys can Definitely try, you know, your own thing with it to see how it goes. And the the loop, I'm realizing I should have, like, formed it at the right, sort of the right uh, position. I should have done it, like, parallel to, to the name, but that we could probably adjust to. So let's just bring this back. I'm just going to bring this here. And we might be able to adjust it a bit. I'll, I'll fix that after. So now let's go bring this up. This is going to hold in place and you don't want to do too much like twisting around with it or it's going to go out of place. So I'm going to just bring it to the top and then wind it around for now. So at least you have like the basic, you can see like that will secure it. So that's, that's the key to be able to be able to actually secure it in place. And the problem is, no, I think I wanted to twist. I want to bring that to the back. So let me just unscrew that again. I want to twist this so this is at the back. So you want the name to be backwards at the back here. And then we're going to bring this back. I'm going to try that again. Bring that around here. Okay. So there we have like the name and this is attached, but it's the idea now is to get it like really secured nicely. So we have that on one side and then we're going to bring this down on the other side. So for some reason, let me just figure this out. This should be, you have to twist it one way and, it, and another to get this to actually be at the back because it's, I just wanted it not to show so much. So we have that one there and this is, this one's here. So now with this side, we can bring it around and make some kind of spiral or something. So let's bring this one to the front and then this one, if you need to tighten it up a bit, you can wind it around again and then wind it back. And now you can make it like a little more tight. Like this will tighten up your whole design if you do it that way. So you can definitely bring it around down there. And then maybe I'll bring this underneath too. So we're going to bring this underneath here. And we're going to wind that around here a little bit too to see how it goes. So this part is you're just going to have to really experiment with it to see how it goes. But the idea is you just want to keep this on on the bottle so that looks pretty good so you can either secure it or you can do a little spiral or something let's just see how it looks I'm gonna pull this back I'm not sure about this so let's just bring this back yeah you really want it to be holding in place although it's I'm just gonna figure out how the best way to do it I bet you could do something like this with wire weaving would be good and um, I'm just gonna 
tighten it up one more time. I'm gonna bring it around here one more time and I'm actually just gonna clip it for now and see what else we can do here. Yeah, so that's pretty good. It tightened it up. The more you twist it there, the more you, it tightens it up. And then here, what you can do, we'll just fix it up a little bit. Okay, yeah. And then what you can do here, yeah, this is sort of on the on the side. You're just gonna have to play around with it a bit. And then I think if we do like a spiral, or you can add more beads too, if you want. Say you wanna add some more beads at the top. Why don't we try that? Let's just do something different because we already did the spiral. So let's try to add some beads at the top. So I'm gonna bend it just to like cover that little area there. I find it's a little stark. So quilling, who's doing quilling? Uh, oh, Mustafa's doing quilling. That's awesome, fantastic. Very cool. Well, I'm not gonna have time to show the pictures on the screen today just because I'm kind of up to my eyeballs figuring out this design, but uh, I'll do another, I'll do another live stream another time where I can show some pictures. But let's try to figure this one out. So here's some beads and let's put our beads on there. So these are just seed beads. I thought I'll just use these to do something, you know, pretty simple. We can get very, you know, similar beads to what we're working on and uh, see how it goes. So I'll just do some maybe hematite ones and see how we can just put it all the way around just to see how it looks because I thought it might be fun just to add some beads to that but maybe it's not going to work out as planned so we'll just try and see that's the that's the thing right if you if you don't try you just don't know so I'll try to get them all like similar colors and stuff I have like purple and amber and different colors so there we go I did an Indian instrument. Wow, that sounds really cool. Very interesting. I'll definitely check that later. So yeah, so these are kind of interesting. They might end up being a little bit wide around there. But, you know, there's definitely things you could do. Or maybe just put them around the top might be better. Like just around the bottom. Like around the top like that could be cool. I think the sky is the limit, eh? I think there's a lot we can do with this. I'm not 100% sure with the beads now. I find they distract from the from the um, big bead. So let's remove those. And maybe you could even do some like little loops or something. So let's see if we did some like little loops or something. Might be interesting. You can just do, you could just really play around with it to make it decorative because like if you, if you wanna do the spiral, go ahead. Or we can just kind of just kind of play around. I think I think the more detail you do, it just makes it look more interesting. Uh, and maybe not too many beads because it might be distracting. But uh, I think this is where you guys are going to get really creative. And I hope you're going to try something like this. So let me know in the comments if you're going to try this. If you have bottles, uh, if if it's something that you think you're going to tackle, I would love to. I would love to uh, see what you come up with. And if you've done other bottle, if you've done other pieces with bottles, definitely let me know and you can post them in the Facebook group as well. That would be super cool. So yeah, I think at this point you can just get really creative. You can just play around with it. I'm just going to bring this one over here a little bit to the front. We'll just move the spiral around a little bit. And that way it's just, you know, it just gives it a little bit of interest. I mean, this is like really super abstract and stuff. So yeah, loving the little loops instead. Yeah, I think the loop, just to give it some interest, but not make it like overkill type of thing, because sometimes if you add e uh, detail with the same wire, it's it gives it a subtle kind of, uh, you know, a subtle kind of texture type of thing. And these are definitely not perfect by a long shot, but there it's the idea. So now just to finish the end, what you can do is you can take the end and put it through here and just give it a little push through make sure you can catch the end and hopefully it's going to stay in place because basically you just want to cut the end and have it stay in place so we'll just take the end bring it around and then cut the cut the end there and you probably want it you might want to move it around a bit I'm not sure if that's quite quite perfect but it's not too bad so we're gonna see, I think that's okay. It's just to hide the end a little bit, but this is the idea. So the idea with this one was to do, use like the, 
the bead cap and had the name in there. So the name worked well, it worked really well. Uh, let me know if you have any suggestions on how to make this maybe a little more interesting. I guess you could add some wire and stuff around it too, but you don't want to distract too much from the name because if you did add wire, just let me get some of the thinner wire because I have also the this 24 gauge wire. I'm not sure how it would look like that. Love it, awesome, thank you. So let me just, uh, I'm gonna pull out a piece uh, da, 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 and see how it goes. Pull that around. This is the uh, the 24 gauge wire that came in the in the collection from Michaels. So we're just gonna pull that one out, pull it out a bit. The trouble with these spools is they can come unraveled, so you have to like push this back a little bit. So I was yeah, I was just wondering, you know, if you added wire to it, that's such a problem. Like you can just see like this, it's already distracting. So I think for now I'm gonna leave it super plain, and then we'll see see how it goes so we're going to do this and what i'm going to do now is i'm going to show you the two that we did and you guys can let me know which one you like so this one this one with celia with a little bit of fancy wire and then this one with lenore with the spiral i really like too i think i like the gold wire i find the silver you know it's nice but it doesn't show up as well and let me just bring the paper, a white paper, so you guys can see it a little better. So there we go. We've got those two. Yeah, I think I really like with the spiral and stuff. So I might play around with the Celia one a little bit more and uh, just to see how it goes. And uh, and there we go. So we have that. Perfect. And uh, so, yeah, let me know which one you guys like. I'm going to flip the screen around to say goodbye. Uh, da, 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 da. There we go. Perfect. Awesome. Excellent. They both look cute. Thank you. The gold one shows up better. Yes. Uh, come to Facebook, Mustafa. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, we have a nice group on Facebook, but uh, not everybody likes using Facebook. Uh, so that's, uh, it's not for everybody, but the group is great. Uh, sometimes I post pictures of Mustafa's stuff in the community section. You can definitely see some of his stuff there. And so for people that don't have Facebook, I like to share pictures there if people like. So guys, I am going to let you go. I wish everybody a wonderful rest of the day, rest of the evening, rest of the night. I hope everybody's staying safe and healthy and happy and keep creating beautiful stuff out of wire. If you have special requests, uh, message me for sure and let me know. I can't get around to everything, but I love, you know, working on ideas for you guys and being inspired. So, uh, so that's awesome. So um, big, uh, big bye bye to everyone. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see everybody live same time next week. And, uh, you know, another new video on Saturday and every now and then I pop up a new video as well. So that's really cool. And we'll see you in the Facebook group. So thanks guys. We'll see you the next time. Bye.